to my channel today I'm talking about something a little bit different I'm trying to make this channel a little more broad and not so here 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 makeup 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 I'm trying to put it out there where you can learn something too if you go back to a couple of my other videos I have um, videos um, about real estate I went to Atlanta and I went to a real estate conference with DJ Envy and a couple other people and it was some really really good information in that video so if you want to check that out you can go watch that but today's video today's video is about how to balance full-time work and full-time school and full-time parent because I'm a parent too so um, it's not easy but I'm coming today with a couple of tips I've been going back to school full-time the last year COVID has been real so I chose to go back to school finish my bachelor's degree um currently bachelor's degree in computer science information systems going into the tech world switching it up switching it up on assist that's not currently what i do at work right now um that doesn't even matter at this point but these are five tips into balancing work and school tip number one um have a plan you gotta have a plan know what you want to do and why you want to do it I chose tech because that's like the thing now, like it's moving, technology is moving, things are changing, you gotta keep up with the rhythm, you know, keep up steady, fast, the rhythm, it's not easy, because the accounting class I had last semester was trash, but I'm pushing through it, I'm pushing through it. With the help of friends and family, you know who you are, I'm making it work. Number two, this is a school, um, for the process like do you want to go online school do you want to walk in? can you like first of all i go to online school it's very hard it's not easy because you have to literally teach yourself everything like everything i haven't been in school since my daughter was three years old and she's now 10 so i'm teaching myself a new thing a new career a new you know different things it's not like english and it's just it's a lot different <laughs> different it is a lot of different things I'm learning programming and all this different subjects like I said accounting some business classes in there and I'm just like what but I'm getting A's and B's you know C's do get degrees but we're not aiming. we're aiming for A's A's all day A's all day so choose what kind of school you want that's number two choose what kind of school you want some people can do online because online is just is, is hard. It's not easy because you literally don't have anybody to explain what the hell you're learning. You have to like email the professor and hopefully they email you back in time and everything's due at a deadline and everything's due this week and everything's due last week. But it, but the pros to online is very convenient. You can work a full time job, which I'm doing, and have full time family, which I have, and go online and you know do it when you can when it's convenient going into the school is easier well let me not say easier because you still have to work so going into the school might be better for you i wish i could do that but i don't have the convenience and a job that's willing to move with the hours i need so that's why i like online better than going into the school but going into school is a little bit easier because you can actually go up to the professor and say hey i don't understand this i need your help ma'am instead of the day of the test, you're like this online. You got it, you get it. Boom. Okay, so that was choose what kind of school you want to go to and what's your learning technique. You might have a different, I'm, I'm a visual learner and I have to do it. So online is, you know, it's, it's good, but it's not at the same time because somebody's not showing me that you show me, I can't pick it up. But if I, you don't show me, I just might not get it. I might be like, can you repeat that? For the sixth time because i don't get it damn sir i don't get it but learn learning technique because online might not be for you but it is very convenient number three when you gonna get your homework done when you when you gonna clean your house when you gonna go food shopping when you gonna spend time with your kids like when you gonna do it going to school when you were teenagers is easy when you just gotta worry about school but going to school when you're an adult with adult bills 
it's a whole different ball game. You got to bring it back, scale it back a little. Because am I going to finish this paper or is my child not going to eat? And that's a little extreme. But you know what I mean. Like, like you can get there. Like, papers do by 12 a.m. <laughs> People like me procrastinator sometimes. Not all the time. Let me put that in the atmosphere. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm, I, you know, kind of plan this is what I'm saying you you gotta know when to plan these things because yeah you're tired from work but you gotta get this paper done and you tired from your kid or whatever else you got going on you gotta cook you gotta clean you gotta but you gotta get it done so you gotta make sure you have a plan plan it out number four number eight number four find ways to relieve stress because those shoulders, release that jaw, you know, Usa, breathe, do what you gotta do to relieve stress, like exercise, find ways to relieve stress, like I was saying, breathe, relax those shoulders, you might tense up a little bit, you know, step away, walk away from the assignment, if it's too much at the moment, I had to learn this, you have to get up and walk away and do something else okay don't do nothing else for like five six hours like walk away and do something else for like maybe like a half an hour watch a youtube video sometimes that relaxes me do something else like have a have a uh, i want to say glass of wine but then i'm going to do But walk away from it. Breathe, exercise, you know, meditate, listen to some music, find ways to relax because it can get really stressful and then you won't wanna you, you wouldn't wanna do it anymore. You're like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't know why I went back to school. I, I'm like, you know, 50 years old. I'm not 50 years old, but not even old, but 30, 32 years old. Why am I going back to school? It's too late. No, walk away breathe do something else and come back to it so number four is relief stress oh go on a random trip that's what i did i went to puerto rico i was just like you know what especially with covid and everything going on i was like you know what i, I, I just need a break because it's too much it's too much especially with covid it's too much just you ain't gotta go to puerto rico but you can just get up and go somewhere get a hotel and just get get out of the space like just go away like i went on a trip with my friends poconos like something something just get up and go so you can just feel like you're going away you know it helps it helps um you can talk to a friend sometimes you have good friends they help you see things that you like you know what i am the bomb i am going back to school i do got my together i'm you know i'm a vibe i, I could do this i could do this they help you get through it. Sometimes they've been through it. You know what I'm saying? So never alone in this. I'm, I'm here with you. If you ever feel like you alone, just know Ish is here with you. Ish is doing it too. And when we graduate, boy or girl, we ain't gotta never do it again. <laughs> we can do something else. We ain't gotta do that again. All right. And number five, kind of goes to number four. Don't forget to take care of yourself first gotta put yourself first i've learned this in 2019 when covid went off take care of yourself because we might not be here tomorrow like this is that's the reality of it all especially with this covid if it ain't put your mind in perspective yet you need to check yourself because there's a lot going on around her and y'all need to get with the programs gammies hear me pray it out do what you gotta do but take care of yourself first because we here today and going tomorrow and stress is real 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 but yeah those are my five tips number one have a plan number two choose what kind of school you want to do online in school online off school number three think about how you're going to get all done i have a plan number four relieve stress number five Take care of yourself first. So I don't want to make it seem like this is like a self-help video, but 
It's definitely a video about, you know, putting you first. Because you going back to school, that's for you. Ain't for nobody else. It's all for you, boo-boo. All for you. So if you choose to do it, just know. It was your decision. And you did it for a reason. So you got to trust yourself. Trust yourself. All right? All right? You trust yourself. And you wouldn't choose nothing bad for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So... I need you to focus. Stay woke up in these COVID streets. And if you lost anything else during COVID, I apologize to you. I'm praying for your well-being because it's not an easy time. And why not now? Why not do it? I can talk myself out of it all the time. Like, I ain't going back to school for what? I got an okay job. I got a good job. I'm good. But no, if you can better yourself, why not better yourself? We better ourselves to everybody else. I do it for you so yeah that's the end of this video I appreciate you for watching like comment and subscribe below if you have any more tips let's share together let's learn together and I can do a video on my degree that I'm getting now in tech so I know it's a big thing now so if you want some questions or some help with some homework stuff or just want me to talk about careers in tech let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.